What's up guys, All Muscle? Uh, doing a parts video on the LT4 C4 Corvette. We're, uh, we're going to be putting this uh, motor in here pretty soon. But before we do that, uh, we're going to go ahead and change out some key parts. I'm going to go over these parts here with you. Number one thing, let's start off with this oil pan gasket. Uh, we're going to do an oil pan gasket. This is the original AC Delco pan gasket. And that is the part number there. Also, we're going to do a timing chain cover seals. Uh, this is the lower hub crank shaft seal, a uh, new distributor seal, and a new water pump seal. Uh, since I had another engine, I've already had this piece, the front timing chain cover, and I've already went ahead and installed uh, the new seals into it. Also, I have the rear main seal housing, and we're going to go ahead and install the rear main seal into that. Uh, this is the rear main seal. This is the national. Let me get out of the sun there. This is the national 5274A. And this is the rear main seal that goes into here. So we're going to do that. <clears throat> Basically, I'm trying to sew up any possible oil leaks with all these seals. So uh, these, these are prone to leak uh, on the front of the LT1 motors, LT4 motors. So we're going to get rid of those. Uh, we've got an oil pump here, which uh, I'm not... Uh, I'm not sure that I'm going to be using it's it's a M155 HB the HB stands for high volume uh, and we're not going to be running any uh, any higher RPM or any kind of racing components on this car and we're not going to definitely not going to be changing the oil pan to a, a, a higher capacity oil pan so I probably will not be using that pump I actually probably won't even change the pump uh, I'm going to have the pan down that's why uh, I opted to grab an oil pump but uh, after reading a bunch of things on on uh, some of the forums uh, some people are for it some people are against it I'm just gonna go ahead and decide against it uh, the high volume by the way uh, because uh, a lot of people are saying that without a, a deeper uh, oil pan that has more capacity uh, you might end up starving the engine uh, for oil at the bottom end and all your oil end up being at the top so <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, choose not to uh, put that in. If I have a uh, chance, I might end up getting a uh, might end up going back to the store and getting a non-high volume and just do doing a basic stock pump. But uh, the 50,000 mile motor, I, uh, I don't see the oil pump going bad uh, on 50,000. But you never know. So you can get an oil pump right out of the box that doesn't work. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and probably pass on that whole idea. We're gonna stay with the original oil pump more than likely anyways this is a, a, a LUK set this is a clutch set uh, for the uh, ZF transmission it's a 04-142 clutch kit uh, this is basically comes with the uh, pressure plate uh, bearing and also the clutch disc so we've got all that we're gonna make sure we put a new clutch on there and also here uh, definitely some new spark plugs we're just gonna go with some new plugs the part number on that right there 41-940 on those uh, and then a key ingredient on this motor is the water pump and these are prone to failure we've got an AC Delco part number and we've got a GM part number I gotta love that right there they're made in China yeah I'm AC Delco alright so that's uh, that's one of the key uh, components let me show that to you so there it is Brand new, fresh, sealed water pump. That's that. And then one more key ingredient, and this is the most expensive of all. And this sucker here is the uh, is the OptiSpark. And the original, the OptiSparks that came in, uh, the earlier cars didn't have this lower port here for a vacuum. And uh, condensation would build up in here. Uh, and destroy these these units but these uh, the ones with the vacuum on them uh, ended up being a little bit better but they still they still failed especially if you had a water pump uh, where the weep hole on the water pump sits right directly above this area here and it just sits there and if the water pump goes bad it just starts leaking right onto the top of the distributor and you guessed it it'll destroy it 
but this piece here is a little a little under four hundred dollars i mean uh and it's been that expensive and possibly more expensive for quite some time and they don't seem to come down in value <coughs> or in price i'm sorry but anyways here's the uh, part number on the ac delco side and the gm actually this looks like a gm part number i'm not sure if this is the delco part number there's a delco sticker there but uh, i think I, I think there's a there's another part number for it for, for, for uh, delco but don't quote me on that but that looks to me to be a gm part number <coughs> <coughs> Anyways, those are the items that we're going to be changing, and then we're going to go ahead and give this motor a, a good detail. I'm going to detail it with all the old parts on it, that way I don't risk it, uh, destroying anything. Uh, but this is what this is basically the area here. Like I said, we've already got the timing chain cover, and that's already all cleaned up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use the new timing chain cover, uh, the new distributor, and then the new water pump, of course. Uh, but first, we're going to have to remove this hub uh, assembly here, and what we got there is the uh, alternator bracket slash AC alternator slash AC bracket here uh, and as you can see there it's pretty pretty dirty pretty ugly looking uh, we've got this one over here that's pretty much in clean and mint condition so we're going to go ahead and use this so we don't have to sit there and mess with that at least for, for right now we'll clean that other one up when the time comes and I think that's about it uh, for right now. I just wanted to go uh, go over those parts and show you what uh, what I'm going to be, uh, you know, basically just kind of doing a, a, a freshening up of that uh, of that motor. Uh, this is the interior so far. We've got the dash installed, the dash pad, uh, and some of the uh, you know smaller components like you know the padding, uh, maybe a couple other things that I can't think of right now. But uh, as as far as the uh, dash and and uh and the components of the dash everything in there is 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 looking good we had some uh issues with the dash where it had uh delaminated uh from the area right here in front of the glass so we had to clamp that down and glue it into place and now uh, that took that took a, a good day day and a half to cure that up uh, and now they're it's looking pretty fresh it's it's not uh it's not lifting like it was and it's uh maybe we'll get you know some more time out of this dash because these dashes actually had a huge delamination problem from the front there and uh, they would just look terrible and it's kind of it's kind of you know you say it's a fifty thousand mile car you know you might you know you, you say that it's, it's it's you know too early for it to be doing that but you know on stuff like that it's the time uh, so you know the car is a 96 and uh the time you know just puts a puts a hurting on that kind of stuff well it depends on on the weather and where the car was parked also so uh you know i'm sure uh it's seen some good sunlight and these uh these dashes you know being black uh they absorb a lot of heat and you know what heat does all right guys well that's what i got going after i get this uh all set up and ready to go i'm gonna go ahead and uh, do another video on it and I'll show you what I came up with. All right, we'll talk to you later Hey guys, uh, just a quick one. I'm getting ready to put this motor in uh, I wanted to go over uh, some of the parts that I changed uh, Went ahead and put a new distributor on it a New pump on it and then all new gaskets in the front on the timing chain cover There's a gasket or, or a seal for the uh, water pump uh, there's a distributor seal and then there's a lower crankshaft seal and I uh, went ahead and replaced all three of those also did a new oil pan gasket on it and I cleaned it up and uh, I don't know it's looking pretty good actually came out looking pretty decent we're gonna go ahead and uh, pluck him up and put them in the car at this point I also did a, a new rear main seal on it new oil and filter of course and uh, as soon as I get get this in the car I'll be putting the clutch on the flywheel the clutch and also the uh, bell housing for the transmission and then I think at that point I'll do another video uh, we've got this pretty much set up to where we're gonna be able to drop it in at this point and uh, we're going to go ahead and do that right now and 
we'll get back with you in a second. I just wanted to show you uh, what the motor looked like before I put it in. Alright guys, next one.